Well, new this morning, the colder, darker days of fall and winter are on the way, and for many, that means a hit in their mood. Yeah, but when it goes just beyond feeling off, it could be something more serious. News reporter Morgan Wrigley has more from a professional about how to take care of your mental health this time of year. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning. Well, people talk about seasonal depression or winter blues, but for some people, it's a very real and serious thing. Seasonal affective disorder, or SAD, is a form of depression tied to seasonal changes that affects millions every year. Shay Barfield, a nurse practitioner with Mercy in Fort Smith, tells us science shows that seasonal affective disorder happens in the fall and winter because of changes in circadian rhythms. Patients aren't getting as much exposure to sunlight, and there are other theories that low serotonin may play a role. Signs to watch out for can look similar to major depression, like loss of interest in things you usually find pleasurable, changes in appetite, and sleep disruptions. She says often patients dealing with SAD may find themselves having more extreme symptoms, like wanting to lay in bed for weeks at a time. As we enter this time of year and the stress of the holidays, she says it's especially important to be kind to one another and support those who are struggling. Ways we can do that with somebody that we suspect is struggling with any kind of mental health issue, whether it's SAD or um, even depression or bipolar disorder, would be to offer to go for a walk with that person if you think that maybe they're not getting out enough, going with them to an appointment if they want somebody to go with them. She says if you're having any symptoms of SAD for two weeks or more, it's a good idea to see a doctor. And she says a natural way to help alleviate or help prevent symptoms, increase your serotonin levels by getting outside every day and being more active, even if it's just taking a short walk. Morgan Wrigley, 5 News.